Good afternoon from Bicton College where we're on a tractor and we're on our way to Bicton Home Farm for the college's lambing Sunday. An estimated 2,000 people made the short journey from Bicton College down to the farm either by bus, walking or like this on the tractor trailer. On arrival, you were surrounded by the farm's 200 dairy cows, 200 sheep, 8 breeding sows, and of course, the new spring additions. The fun and educational day out was organised by Bicton College students and gave children and big kids the chance to stroke calves, piglets and lambs, some for the very first time. They, they really like it, they get a really good reaction from the lambs see what they like. Some of them are the first touch of a lamb today. Yeah. So it's really quite exciting for them to see what it was like. So I know when I first touched a lamb it was really exciting. But yeah. How old are the lambs that you have here today? Um, they're between one to eight days old. <laughs> All so right. this one will be eight days old probably. As well as being part of the students' own education, they were on hand to tell people more about what goes into rearing a flock of sheep. An awful lot of work, so obviously from when it's born you either take it away and then you've got to feed it every couple of hours and then you soon wean them off and then they go on to creep feeds which is like a pellet and then they're not so much high maintenance then. And is this your first time doing this? Yeah, this is my first year at college so this is the first time at a lamb on Sunday. Alright, so uh, something to look forward to in the future then? Yeah, it's a really good day and it's really good. Yeah. How are the sheep reacting to being petted and looked at and groomed? Fine, they're doing really well, yeah. I'm loving it, most of them are just falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> From dawn until dusk, around 60 agriculture students who work on the farm were getting stuck in and helping out as part of their own learning process. They're really hands-on, it, it's great for them to interact with the public, um, talk with them, tell them what we do and what they do on the farm. They work on the farm and help on the farm as part of their studies, so it's a great experience for them to get close to the public and, and explain what we do. How much organisation goes into getting this event here? Uh, there's a good two weeks of preparation beforehand, and of course the farm has to run even the day before, the hour before the event starts, so we still have to milk the cows this morning, feed all the animals. So. This morning was full on from 5 o'clock onwards. We were busy, ready for 11 o'clock when the public arrives. With perfect weather conditions and the college promoting the event in local press and leaflets, staff here say they have never seen so many people on the farm. Definitely the busiest day we've had. Last year was good, this year is better. I think it's been really well advertised this year. What do you put the success down to, to have so many people here? I think the ad, ad, advertising and the banners we've got at the end of the drive and uh, obviously in Exeter as well, we've been advertising it really well. How many years has this event been going on for? It's been going on for as long as, as, long as I can remember. Um, I was a student here in 1998 and it was going then and gradually as the years have been progressing we've been getting bigger and bigger. So what do those visiting the Lanning Sunday think of their day out? Have you ever been this close to a lamb before? No. <laughs> I really enjoyed today. We've seen piglets and cows, but the lambs are the highlight. It's therapeutic, actually. It's very nice. Make you want to take them home? Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. I'll come with my son as well. And father right. and his mother. So it's a good family day out? Yes, definitely. It's very fun I'm, I'm enjoying holding the lamb and all the other stores up in the college. Oh, it's amazing. He's so soft and lovely. Oh, it's pretty good. Not bad. It's okay, you know. <laughs> they all live next door to us anyway. We only live over there, so right, we're so quite used to it, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Before heading back to campus, there was just enough time to see the milking take place, and the smell of freshly cooked burgers and sausages made the mouth water. 
It was such a busy day that even college principal David Henley was helping out by ferrying people to and fro the farm, and he praised the students for their efforts. Well, they've done a fantastic job. They've, um, they've been very good in terms of interpreting what's going on for the public and um, explaining what, what you can see down on the farm. The agriculture students have been explaining about the landing process. And then we, we've got students from all of our curriculum areas across the college putting something on. And they're, they're competing with each other to see who can put on the best show for the public. All right. And so what's the main thing you want people to take away from today who've come from outside of the college? Um, well, the unique characteristic of Bigton is the way in which we mix education, enterprise in this wonderful environment that we've got. And it's, uh, it's, it's a place where there's something for everyone and you can really enjoy your time as a student here or as a visitor. Back at the college there was a hive of activity, from a bouncy castle, getting creative with felt, flower arrangement, guessing the weight of a horse, and in the main hall, creepy crawlies and other animals were on display. We've had a lot of interest today and we've made quite a bit of money from college so it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone brave enough to hold one of the cockroaches in size? Yeah, these guys have been handled a lot today. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit stressed out but they're yeah. fine <laughs> by all the hands. This one's lovely. That one, that's, that's probably our biggest snail we've got at the moment. Look at him. Uh, <laughs> that's the first time I've seen anyone kiss a snail. She wasn't bad. <laughs> Outside, the finalists of the dog show were about to be judged to see who would be crowned best in show. Oh, it's going to be a very tough decision. They're, they're all lovely and they've all won classes already, so they all deserve to be winners, but I can only pick two today, so it's going to be very hard. In the end, there could only be one winner, and it was Parsley, the 13-year-old beagle owned by Caroline and Ellen. And the first prize goes to the Beagle, well done. A round of applause for the Beagle. Oh, we're very second. pleased. She's very, well, she's 13, so she's done really well. She's never won anything before, so Thank you very all so pleased. much for entering and what do you think about, the dog um, show today. We have your got uh, Parsley winning here today. Our country fair in the summer coming dog, up on June dog. the 11th, which will be running another dog show dog. then, so please yep. come back then. What we'll tips would you have for Rocky any other budding Kathy dog Kathy owners who want to come and win a best um, in show prize? Um, um, not as to well, have too you. high expectations um, and um, just to love their dog very much. Make sure they enjoy it. How will you be celebrating this evening? Um, well, we're having roast chicken a bit later, so I think there'll be a portion for parsley. But despite all the action going on at the college, there was only one place this reporter wanted to be. He likes me. Well, uh, <laughs> well, that's the end of another lambing Sunday, and as you can see, everyone here is having a really nice time, aren't we? He's enjoying that. I think I've found a new friend. Lewis Clark, for Loose News, at Victon College. Aww, oh, thank you.